people always referred to P2P as an online mortgage or some sort of illegal funding. But what P2P actually refers to as a person-to-person -person trading. The P2P network structure is adapted by blockchain. Every node within this network is equal, as each one of them provides its service. Bitcoin is designed as a node-to-node -node digital cash system, its structure represents the core feature. P2P is basically a peer-to-peer -peer computer network, that distributes tasks and workloads amongst peers. Formed within application layer calculation model. There are four stages during the development of P2P. Centralization, peer distribution, mixed type, and structured model. As centralized serve does not exist in P2P, every single node can serve as a server. Even if one of the nodes suffered from an attack, the system as a whole would not be affected. Users can join or leave at any time in the P2P network. The service quality would increase as more users participate. P2P can utilize the idle CPU from users' nodes and bandwidth storage resources to achieve a higher calculation and storage. Data are spread between each node without going through the central server. This would reduce the risk of privacy invasion. The most common use of a P2P network is online file sharing. Traditionally downloads are processed by a central server, the downloading speed would be slow during high demand. Since the P2P network contains multiple copies of files, when download is commanded, it can be downloaded from multiple nodes at the same time. Now you can see why a P2P network is an essential element of blockchain technology.